Some of the guys, man, they have like $300,000 chain. I'm like, that is crazy to me. Like, I don't, it's just all perspective, right? It's like, I would rather have a car or a home. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Austin Eckler, and this is how I spent and saved my first million dollars. So I grew up in Colorado in a small town called Eaton, Colorado. 6,000 people strong, a little farm town, a lot of support from the community, and I had a really tight group of, uh, of guys that I grew up with, basically from preschool to, to I graduated high school. But going through high school, um, you kind of have your eyes set on, okay, what's after this? And it was college for me. I didn't know if I wanted to play a sport in college. I thought I wanted to go into uh, law enforcement. There's too many crazy people for me to handle, so props to those people that can do that. <laughs> The day I graduated high school, I had my car packed. I was gonna be a raft guide. The school I went to is up in the mountains. It's like 7,800 feet. And one of my friends from high school, he's like, look man, like I'm gonna go be a raft guide for the summer. And I was like, you know, I'm into outdoors, stuff like that. So I actually, my first ever job was rafting on the Gunnison River up in the Rocky Mountains. I think it was like $35 a trip and you'd have two trips a day and then you make most of your money on tips. If you're gonna be getting a good tip, you know, you gotta make everything entertaining. Well, you might have an older crowd, you might have a crowd with kids. I mean, it was, it was okay, but nothing like uh, <laughs> playing the NFL. <laughs> There is absolutely zero negotiation with undrafted with my first contract. It was, hey, you're on the minimum for the next three years. Here's a little signing bonus of like $5,000. To me, I was like, yeah, that's awesome. Like, cause they could have gave me nothing for a signing bonus. And the league minimum's nothing to, you know, be sad about. Like I'm definitely pumped because I think it's like, now it's, it's climbed up to like 500,000, even above that. And then there's always the bonus in the spring that you're really trying to play towards too. <laughs> So when I first got into the league and finally started, you know, receiving some paychecks, uh, it feels like it takes forever to get to that point. You're always like, like, when, am, when do we get paid? But, uh, you know, we have to play two games. You have to wait for that to be, you know, processed. When I grew up, my mom's ex-husband, you know, he made a substantial lot of money and then kind of just blew it all and got really underneath as far as debt. I've seen that happen and I was like, I cannot let that happen to me, especially with this magnitude of money coming in. And, you know, I sat down with my, you know, financial advisor and they're like, basically have won the game as long as you play it right. Coming into my third year, Melvin Gordon decided that he wanted to sit out and it was like, well, he's not here, so Austin, you're up. They either had a choice to tender me, which is basically like a fourth year option for undrafted guys, or they could sign me to an extension or they can like let me go. We went back and forth and finally came down to like 26 million after ex uh, incentives on four years. Yeah, that's when some spending started happening. <laughs> All right, so I talked about how I saved my money. Now let's talk about how I spend my money. The first thing I bought on my first contract was a Chrysler and it was about 30 grand. I bought it used just because I wanted to save money. That was like my first check that I ever got and I knew a majority of it was gonna go towards the Chrysler. Well, a majority of it I feel like went towards taxes. Used Chrysler, 30 grand. For those of you guys that don't know me, uh, I'm a big gamer and streamer on Twitch, so I needed to upgrade my setup because it was a little outdated and just underwhelming. Uh, my second real purchase was updating all of that, and that was about 10 grand. It's top of the line, everything is super crisp. I have two monitors, I have my PC, my desk, my chair, my halo lights, and just the decorations of the room upstairs. It's like my own little man cave, basically all decked out. My game of choice in the past has been League of Legends. It's like a more in-depth game. You actually have to like do research on this game to actually like keep up with the times. So it's, it's intriguing to me and it's very competitive, so I love it. Gaming setup, 10K. So that was on my first contract and then I signed my extension. The first thing I bought after I signed my extension, uh, my mother needed a vehicle very bad. She had a, a van that she was driving since I was in high school. It went through all my friends and all my little brother's friends and it was just absolutely trash and had like 350,000 miles on it and made weird noises. 
And I was like, Mom, you know what? It's time to uh, get you an upgrade. It was a 2019 Ford, uh, I think F-150, and that was 40 grand. Um, so, Mom, I love you. And there you go. <laughs> but my mom's still in Colorado, and if you guys don't know, Colorado gets all four seasons, so you're gonna get a lot of snow during the winter, and you really need four-wheel drive. I kind of surprised her uh, for Christmas, and I wanted to have her get what she wanted, but she couldn't make a decision, so <laughs> ended up just like, all right, mom, I'm getting you a truck, and you're gonna love it, and she absolutely does. Truck for my mother, 40K. All right, so I had bought my mom a vehicle and I was like, you know what, it, I think it's time for me to upgrade a little bit. So I ended up buying a 2020 C8 Corvette, which is gonna be about 85. I needed you know, to upgrade the wheels for the weekend joy ride, but uh, really excited. I've wanted a Corvette for a long time. And yeah, there's that. So the new Corvettes, it was all customizable. Basically every feature on the car besides the engine was customizable. And I've loved Corvettes since I can even remember. I was talking to my mom, I was like, should I do it? Like, it's a big purchase. And I was like, you know what? Like, I, I only live one time, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. So I see all my other teammates are like, dang, look at all these cars in the parking lot. And I'm driving my Chrysler, which I love. Went ahead and uh, purchased the C8 that's on its way and I cannot wait. Another thing that I've been upgrading besides my car is my wardrobe. It hasn't been immediate like the cars, but it's been over time. I, I feel like I've had the same clothes since like high school and college. Some of the guys, man, they have like $300,000 chain. I'm like, that is crazy to me. Like, okay, Austin, you gotta get some new some new fashion here for, for game day cams, you know? But that's been about 5K over the past uh, three years that I've spent on just upgrading the wardrobe. Upgrading the wardrobe, 5K. After I signed my, my second contract, I kind of had some stability where I was like, you know what, I feel like I'm gonna be out here with this team for a few years, so I thought it was time to upgrade my living uh, situation. I had been renting for the previous three years, so I ended up buying you know, my lovely home here. That was a down payment of about 240,000. So, I'll bring this up here. I'm about to count it out. There you go. That's what will get you a house like this. It's crazy. California real estate. Whew. My California home, 240000 on the down payment. So after my second year going into the off season, one of my college uh, football crewmates and uh, roommates went out over to Australia and ended up managing his own gym. After my second year, I went and visited him and it was about 15,000 to cover that trip. It was my first time leaving the country. I had a great time. My last big purchase has been my real estate investments. Basically since the first year of being in the NFL, I kind of had my eyes set on real estate just because I wanted to create a passive income stream. So I basically wanted to move all the money that I made from the NFL into investments. The one I look forward to the most is definitely real estate. So that's where I have a lot of uh, investments right now. Currently I have 17 units. Um, all in Colorado. My mother's a real estate agent there, so I have a lot of connections through her, and you know, that's helped me out a ton, especially in the real estate industry. It's all about who you know to try to find you know, deals that aren't listed. So I have, I think, five or six buildings. This is basically just representing the rest of the down payments on those. My real estate investments, 800K. It's, it's probably more, but that's, that's all I have right now, so that's for the next video, how I spent my second million. <laughs> I've also made a donation to my own foundation, which is the Austin Eckler Foundation. And it's a foundation that actually started uh, right before COVID. And what we're looking to do through my foundation is just create opportunities in you know, places that may not have the most uh, funding or resources. I'm working with uh, Santa Barbara High School. So we're coming in and just with my expertise and my background and my level working out, you know, just helping them and getting that set up for their students that will be able to come through that gym and use that hopefully for the next you know, 20 years.
I'm balanced as far as not really spending a lot on me, but still allowing myself to, you know, have the freedom to, you know, you know, splurge a little bit here and there, but in the most part, I just want to make sure that my investment side is strong and able to, you know, withstand myself throughout my entire life after football. And that's really the main goal as far as what I'm making from the NFL, transferring to my investments, living off of that, and then hopefully, you know, have some generational wealth that, you know, if I have kids, they can live off of that as well. If I were to give a rookie coming into the league right now some advice as far as how to spend their money, I would definitely say come up with a plan before you make any substantial uh, decisions. As far as chains, as far as cars, houses, things like that, make sure you just have a plan and talk to a professional just so you, you don't overdo it. Uh, you know, you get excited, you see your bank account, you're like, well, I actually made that much money. If you have a plan, then you know, you can maybe afford to, you know, treat yourself. You know, the NFL doesn't last forever. You know, the average career is three years. I would say be careful and for the first year, definitely become a, a friend with a financial advisor. Well, that was it guys. Thanks for watching. That was how I spent my first million and I'll see you guys on the field soon.